Hey everyone. Today on Cooking for Morons, we're going to be making some ramen. So first things first, we're going to take a look at the ingredients we'll be using today. Uh, so for the ramen noodles, we're going to be using Mr. Noodles, instant noodles. Um, spicy beef and shrimp for us. I'm making this for two people. We're using some red pepper, some broccoli, and this pork I got on sale. So first things first, we are going to put some water in here to brisk the broccoli. Don't need a whole lot. We're going to turn it up to high though and bring it to a boil. All right, so it's brought to a proper boil. Now what I mean by brisk is we're going to take this broccoli that I've, you know, broken up here, break them up into like medium sized chunks. You don't want them too small or too big and they can be different sizes. It doesn't really matter. And we're just going to put them in the boiling water and you leave them in there for about two minutes. So the purpose of this is to soften them up, but not too much. You want them to still have a little bit of a crunch to them. And uh, there's one more step, but we are going to fast forward until they are done. All right, so it's been about two minutes. Just, we're going to shut the heat off, remove it from the heat for a second. And over here, we're going to see this bowl of cold water. That's important for this process. All right, I'm going to use this uh, straining spoon to scoop out the broccoli. I'm just going to put it in cold water. So what this is going to do is quickly cool it down and stop it from cooking because, fun fact, food continues to cook when you are when you stop heating it. It's still hot. So now that they've tendered a little bit, we need to stop that process. So right down in the cold water. Now what I'm actually going to do to make sure this works right is I'm going to turn on the tap that sort of a light drizzle and put the bowl under the water so it continues to be cool while it cools down. While that's happening, we're going to do some chopping. So we're going to start with some red pepper. I'm going to be making enough for two here, so we're going to use about half of this whole bell. So we'll chop that. Uh, unlike other recipes you might have seen me do, we're not going to be cutting this into tiny pieces because we're not making a sauce out of it. We want it to be a part of the soup, but also a like distinct piece that you can eat. So, I'm going to start by just dicing it lengthways, heightways, long ways, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to be going for pieces like that. So don't be afraid to cut another time if you need to get it like this. Yeah. You'll also notice that I cut out the pit. This, you don't want that. It doesn't really taste like anything. It won't hurt you, though, if you really hate food waste. So now we're going to take these and put them uh, in the pot with the water we were using. So we're going to put it back on the heater, back up to high to bring it to a boil, and we're just going to put these in. You don't need to wait for it to start boiling. And don't worry about the green water. We're going to be putting broccoli in there anyway. Like, it's fine. All right, so... For a broth, we're going to be using the flavor packets from the ramen, but before that even, we're also going to use some soy sauce. This kind of broth is called shoyu, which is another word for soy in Japanese. don't want it to be too, too much, but this is going to replace salt in the recipe. All right, so here is the, uh, the flavor packets removed from the, the Mr. Noodles. I'm going to get them in there, and we're going to stir. So we're going to let this sort of boil. It's all, I mean, it's, it's clearly boiling now. I'm going to turn it down to, like, six. And let it cook for a bit, and the red pepper to soften. Now we're going to work on our meat. All right, so we're going to put this pan on at about six... Uh, Get it heated up. And now we're back here, cutting board, and it's time for the meat. Remember to always eat your vegetables before your meat to minimize the odds of cross-contamination. So yeah, cooking for two, uh, about one and a half of these each. We've got three, and it's going to be quite a meaty soup. Uh, we're going to cut it along the grain, which I believe is just lengthwise for this, into thin pieces. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
and we're going to cut this in half. So you end up with two pieces like that. They're not the same size, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. So yeah, just cut it into strips. Again, you can use anything for this. You could use a pork chop. Uh, if you've got a chicken breast or a chicken thigh, you can boil that up and strip it instead of cooking the, uh, there we go, the pork this way. This just happened to be on sale, like 30% off. It was already pretty cheap. These are just like perfect cuts for what I needed them for. But as is, you know, the theme, use what you've got to make something good. So whatever meat you happen to have, I don't recommend hamburger though. It just doesn't boil well. Don't boil hamburger if you can avoid it. And I realize that I've made two recipes already that require that. Shut up though. Okay, so now we've got the slices. I'm laying them out in a single row, like layer on the cutting board. Before we put them in the pan, we're gonna salt them just lightly. Try to get them all. And we're going to put them salted side down in the pan. Hmm. I was going to try to lift this over and just drop it in the pan, but that seems like a bad idea with only one hand to work with, so we are going to do it like this. Salt side down. Get in there. There we go. We'll find these up at about, like I said, six. This is still sort of uh, boiling down. Don't forget to check on it and make sure you've got enough water in there. And don't be afraid to add a little bit more. Because we're going to need it. Uh, and then the reason we put this salt side down the way we did is so we can salt the other side while it's in the pan. Okay, we're about three minutes into the frying and we're going to flip it over. Yeah, we just want to see the gray, the gray side coming up. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn the heat up to 8, and we are going to sear them. Okay, these are nicely fried. We're going to uh, take them off the heat, turn the heat off, and return our attention to this. So it's boiled down quite a bit, as you can see here, and the uh, pepper is definitely getting soft enough. So now we have to add some more water. All right, so I'm going to add water using the same container I'm going to eat the soup out of. You'll notice it's Tupperware because I don't have a medium-sized bowl. Yeah, so that's how much we're going to need. So we're going to bring this back to a boil. And while that's happening, we're going to set up our bowls. Now, if you're just making it for yourself, you can definitely go ahead and put the noodles directly in the soup and let them soften there. That's probably quicker. Might take two minutes. But because now we're using two bowls, we want we don't want one of us getting all the noodles by accident or anything. We are just going to handle them separately. While we're waiting for that to heat up some more, going to put the now brisked and cooled broccoli in here. Uh, if you bothered to like boil an egg or whatever, that also goes really good in ramen. Uh, I didn't bother with it this time because I wanted to keep this recipe pretty simple. Very few steps. Once you learn how, like the process of making the soup, you can start adding things that you want to it. All right, same goes for the meat. I'll take about half of it here. Put it in each one. Yep, here we see everything laid out and ready to accept the, the, uh, the broth, which is coming back to a boil. Let me go ahead and fish these out. Just to make sure we're evenly distributing them, I'm going to put them in the bowl as well. I'm going to stir this up, make sure nothing's stuck to the bottom. Shouldn't be much to stick, but you know, better safe. Okay, so it's to a rolling boil. Now we're just going to shut the heat off and pour the broth 
into the waiting containers. God, I hope I don't spill this. I didn't spill it. All right, so the uh, toppings we put on top of the noodles are holding the noodles underneath the broth, so there's no need to put a top on this if you don't want to. Uh, it's going to take about five minutes to get properly soft, though. And if you don't want it to get too cool, like the stuff on the top, then feel free to cover it, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. There. Shit's covered. Just leave that for five minutes, and you will have delicious ramen. And here we have it. Some delicious ramen soup made with instant noodles. That should be pretty good. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more, and let me know in the comments that, you know, you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to let me know if you decide to make this, and uh, check out my streams. I play video games on the internet. It's pretty good. You should watch. Anyway, take care.